Hello and good afternoon. My name is Marfi Ramos from BS Psych 11A1. And today I will be explaining to you the five canons of rhetoric by Cicero and the two parts of logic according to Petrus Ramos. So let's go ahead and start with the five canons of rhetoric. Okay, so we have here the Roman philosopher Cicero, okay, that explains that, of course, there are five canons or tenets of rhetoric. We have here the invention, arrangement, style, memory, and delivery. Although these canons were originally created with a focus on oratory or public speaking, most are also applicable to the writing process stages of pre-writing, drafting, and rewriting. So let me go ahead and start, okay, with the first canon, which is the invention. Okay, the invention is the process of coming up with material for a text. So the invention is like a brainstorming, okay, for new ideas, okay, or to come up with a material for a text, okay, or for your pre-writing stage. And next, we have here the second canon, which is the arrangement. Okay, it is the process of deciding how to order the material in a text. So for this canon, okay, this is still part of the pre-writing stage. Okay, but this part, okay, we this is where we process or arrange on how we will be delivering or how we will we be making an arrangement to our ideas, okay, for the pre-writing stage. And next, we have the third one, which is the style. So style is the process of coming up with the actual words that will be used in your text. And in writing, okay, this canon is first approach in drafting stage, okay, and will be continuing in the pre I mean, rewriting stage. So the style, okay, which we are, of course, after you invented or brainstorm your idea and you arrange those words, of course, we will be heading to style where we are coming up with the actual words itself. So we will be, of course, we will be using that in our text or in our writing. Okay, and that is the process of us, okay, and our and expressing the invention and the arrangement that we have made, okay, for the five for the five canons. So we have here the fourth one, which is the memory. So for this canon, okay, this is the process of committing a text to memory. Although this canon is not applicable to writing as it is to oratory. There are still occasions when writers must memorize their text in order to make the delivery more effective. Of course, audience will definitely not trust an author or a writer who doesn't even know what he or she writes. So definitely, okay, this is for me one of the most important, okay, whenever you are delivering, okay, your role, your work. Okay, definitely you should be memorized or you should be familiarized of the thing that you have committed or you have made or written. And the last canon, which is the delivery, okay, is of course also the important part because this is the process of presenting a text to an audience. Like after, of course, inventing, arranging your words and coming up with the style and memorizing those, of course, we will be heading to the delivery on how we will be, of course, providing it to our audience. So like memory, okay, delivery is less prominent in writing than in oratory. However, there are many occasions when the writer must think of how to best deliver their text. As I mentioned, okay, we are like style, okay, in the third canon, we will be needing to find a style on how we will best deliver, okay, the such information or the what we have written, okay, for our work. So, okay, let's go ahead in the next, to the next topic, okay, which is, okay, the two parts of logic according to Petrus Ramos. So actually there are two parts, okay, being the invention, okay, and the disposition. Where the invention, okay, best, I mean, based on Ramos, okay, it is the process of discovering proofs in support of the thesis, while the disposition, okay, which taught how the materials of invention should be arranged. So, okay, that is actually it, okay, on me on explaining the two topics that I mentioned a while ago. So, and again, I would like to thank you for, of course, watching on how I explain the two topics. And again, my name is Marfi Ramos and have a great day ahead and always stay safe. Goodbye for now.